I will go ahead and real quick let them get back to base and show you there's semen and able semen you can laugh at the uh, the funny word all you want I don't care you can see their progress here it looks like you know it looks like these things aren't 100% but they really are um, this is just showing you he started at 60 time units but one kill, one mission, he's kind of leveled up, so to speak. Uh, an able seaman, meaning they've been on a mission before, so they're not a fresh rookie. They've seen some sort of action. And for that, uh, time unit gain, stamina gain, health gain, firing accuracy increased. Strength is kind of hard to see, but that also increased a good bit. I'll go ahead and select uh, an ensign. Uh, you actually didn't really upgrade that much. A little bit of health and strength. That's it. But it's kind of interesting seeing how well people progress. And I'm just going through here looking through stats. Ooh, Boris, you're good. The things I look for, bravery, always nice to have at this early in the game because people are always dying. High bravery means I won't panic and go berserk, but I'm also looking at firing accuracy. 65 is really good for a rookie. Like, really good. Reactions is another one that I look at. Upwards of the upper 50s is fantastic. 40 is not bad. There's another good one, Rudy. Very good with throwing accuracy. Firing accuracy is decent. Not bad, I gotta say. Boris is fantastic, though. Keep that name in mind. Boris Kikankovich. Go... Gakanovich. Gakano whoop ass. That's what's, that's what's up. Alright. Two more days, living quarters will be complete. I'll go ahead and I'll save real quick. Again, I'm not saving because that was success, a successful mission. I'm saving in the event of a crash. Because DOSBox, it's not the. not the most perfect pieces of software. Dismantle that living quarters. Effectively not doing anything for me quite yet because these sub pens are still there. Nine more turns, no, nine more turns. And I know somebody's gonna ask. A lot of people have a second sub pen up here. Well, a third sub pen up here, so they just got a nice row. So their two barracudas can just move straight up. I like just having one barracuda because very rarely do I ever actually use two at once. Um, there are been, there have been situations where that's just bit me in the ass because it's like oh no there's a second USO but this one's stuck refueling I can't get it um, that doesn't happen very often though and you're playing you're paying lease on these things and uh, oh where's monthly cost there we are 300,000 each Barracuda per month that adds up and I need money so I can be able to expand get multiple bases manufacture everything I want I actually ran out of money in a playthrough that I did a while ago. I died a little bit inside because I usually don't run out of money in this game. Fuck you landing at night time. Bastard. I don't want to do a night mission unless I absolutely have to. Okay, hold on. Get that second Barracuda out there. See, times like this it's nice to have that second Barracuda but these don't happen very often. Good. Dun, dun. Nice hit. Yeah, it's a pretty action-packed thing here. I'm just absolutely doing nothing. You just kind of watch it as it unfolds and things happen. There we go. We'll wait until morning. There we go. I don't do it at nighttime because at nighttime aliens have such better vision than you do. Okay, we're only using 11 spaces. Oh! Fuck. <laughs> um, I just remembered something. I'm not researching anything. Oops. <laughs> okay, um. Hmm. Well, let's get the aliens grenade. Sonic Pulsar. <clears throat> yeah. Um, whoops. Didn't want to do that either. Fuck. Okay. 
Let's get that fucking ship before it's too late. Oh, wow. That would have been a first. Me going through the first month without even trying to research anything. 